we are in one of the most insane times in all of history, guys. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and exactly why we have almost broken through the peaks of the previous all-time high before the Bitcoin uh, halving the cycle. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Thank you for being here with me, my beautiful Bliss community. I've been a little bit more frequent with you guys over the last little few days. So thank you very much for your patience. I know I should be pumping content out for you guys, but I have been inundated with immense amounts of work, which I'm truly grateful for in my wonderful, wonderful um, medical business that we have just acquired and my health business doing some cool stuff there, guys. Make sure to follow me on my personal media. You guys can go and check that out over here in these links. Go check that out. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. I have so much to share with you. So appreciate all of you. Let's rock onto this, guys. Today, the Morales Money Bubbles, Shiba Inu is absolutely ripping it. And I want to know from you, should I be taking profits um, on Shiba Inu because I got into a trade nice and early or should I be hanging on because this is just the start of the bull cycle. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are. And if you guys got into a Shiba Inu and a Dodge trade, let me know down in the comments below, please. I'd love to hear from you guys. Now, the Fear and Greed Index is sitting in extreme greed at 80. Once again, we have been in extreme greed since yesterday, pretty much. So not much change in that because of the same level. Our current market cap is sitting just sub 2 Point five trillion dollars guys that is huge not even a year ago was this thing sitting at just above 1.1 trillion dollars so we have literally seen more than one point this mark this entire market has doubled in the last year the entire market guys that is telling us something very very valuable that you need to be listening to you see some of the blue chips are pumping like crazy guys i mean shiba inu is 74 140 percent in the last week i did get into a trade there i'll share that with you guys in a little moment so make sure to stay tuned for that because i think i'm going to start taking some profits on my trades because uh even though we are here you know we've 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 heavily pushed up so <laughs> thanks guys uh so you know we may see some stuff coming from from that Cardano's up 27% of the week. Wow. Dogecoin is up 75%. Ada's up 18%. So you can see that things are, they're really just getting started to pump. So why would I exit my trades is the question. Let me know if I should stay in them or exit. I'll show you them now. Now, now guys, I have to say to you that I want to go through a few news articles with you. Um, first of all, I'm going to share with you on my question should we be selling or taking prop uh, uh just holding on in there and just you know moving your stop losses move your stop losses so that if it does go down you actually bank decent profit that you've worked so hard for because we worked to get those trades we worked hard to make sure that we could see where the levels the right levels were to get into it guys might i say i'm so grateful that I have been able to share my trades with my community. My trades have pumped like crazy over the last few days. Um, and I'm going to show you that even more in a moment. But uh, according to British HODL, he says it is highly like, unlikely that the Bitcoin price will sustain above $64,000 or below $61,500 until Sunday evening. Um, so in other words, it's going to range between $64,000 and $61,500. He believes so until Sunday evening, 5 p.m. EST. In these high dopamine moments, it is important to realize that while there are 21 billion Bitcoin, you have one life. So take a moment, step away until Sunday. I do love that um, Bitcoin hodl and there is no more FUD in Bitcoin, guys. So shout out Bitcoin hodl. Appreciate you, man. Now, Bitcoin Archive, guys, we've got a few things to share with you from Bitcoin Archive as usual. Um, Brazil has allowed the launch of a BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF um, on Friday, which was absolutely amazing, which of course pumped the market even more. And then we had uh, Bitcoin just made its biggest dollar gain on a monthly candle in its history. And this is more bullish than any month in the last 
full cycle. So do you guys think I should still sell or do you think I should hold on? I have to be very honest with you. Doesn't mean we can't wick. You know, we can wick, we can wick down all the way down to 44, 45K and then pull right back up in one week. Or in, sorry, in one month, because it's a monthly candle. So that is possible for us to do, guys. And you just need to know that because we are about plus minus 47 days away from the Bitcoin halving. And uh, as you can see, the new nine uh, Bitcoin ETFs have 21.17 billion in total assets under management. All of them are viable. BlackRock has 10 billion. Fidelity, so BlackRock is literally overtaken. Fidelity has 6.47 billion. Bitwise, 1.52. Arc 2.1, Invesco 386 million. So guys, you can see there, boom, $21.17 billion has come into just Bitcoin alone in the last few days. And um, the new nine spot, spot Bitcoin ETS now currently hold about 344,114 Bitcoin and Grayscale holds alone um, further 432,387 Bitcoin. Now, that is very interesting because we have now seen um, the Vanguard CEO, Tim Buckley, step down. Guys, when you badmouth Bitcoin, when Bitcoin is pumping like crazy, we've seen Bitcoin pump. Literally, guys, we've seen Bitcoin pump right up to the previous all-time highs. Pre, um, In fact, I'm going to look at this chart for you, this chart for you guys. Pre-market halving which it has never done this before okay if we can close a weekly candle in volume above this 60,000 level guys oh, i might think we have the potential to to really get us all the way up to 69 70 000. maybe spike through make a new all-time high at that point guys i don't know could we pull back we we would need to pull back somewhere but right now we're above the 786 and heading towards the one. Okay, so that is the trend is your friend until the end. The trend is bullish. Don't go against the bullish trend. Okay, especially with the MVRV score. It hasn't even begun. The MVRV score is even like down a little bit at the moment. Okay, the RSI BSI is coming up to a very strong overbought position which tells me we could need a time for a pause, which would kind of fiddle around a little bit. Um, maybe just fiddle around just a little bit at the top there before actually just continuing its pump. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, and that's exactly why CEO Tim Buckley is to step down. I don't know if he's to step down. I think he was actually fired because he went against the market narrative and the market narrative is Bitcoin is massive. And you guys are going to want to stay tuned because I have so many things to share with you about that particular thing. Um, first of all, let's go and check out this article here because big banks are nudging the SEC for a slice of sweet Bitcoin ETF action. The banking associations argue that the US banks were notably absent as asset custodians for Bitcoin ETFs, despite them playing the role for the ETPs. Um, you know, that's very interesting that banks are now doing this and saying this and arguing this to the SEC, because not even so long ago, we had JP Morgan and some of these other bankers literally just saying, oh, Bitcoin is shit and it's never going to do anything and we will never trust in it. Money and dollars is the best thing on sliced bread. But literally, Bitcoin is eroding the value of the dollar day by day, second by second, with each influx of inflows coming in from these ETFs, guys. So it brings me to this point because the red dot right now, and this is according to Plan B, Okay, the accumulation phase has ended. There are going to be no more easy buying opportunities in orderly and slowly increasing markets. Bull market has started. If history is any guide, we will see 10 months of face melting FOMO. Extreme price pumps combined with multiple uh, minus 30% drops. Enjoy. 
that's just what it is. We're going to pump like crazy, drop 30%, pump like crazy, drop 30%, and continue that until for a, at least another 10 months minimum. And, you know, maybe that just is what it is right now. So I love that article from Plan B. And if you come and check CryptoCon, for the first time ever, I was talking about the MVRSV score to you guys now on my chart here. That's what I was talking to you about so that you guys know exactly what it is that I'm, uh, that CryptoCon is busy talking about. It has entered the mid top zone outside of the 618 cycle retrace at 48K. So he's talking about this, um, this right here. And basically, this is the last uh bitcoin mid top indicator left to have fired one that has been calling for a move to the red zone since the green zone in october 23 what comes next either this is the most over exuberant mid top bitcoin um has ever seen or the cycles are truly accelerated and this will only mark brief resistance for new all-time highs the mid top is an important cycle that the market has um uh, that has marked the barrier to new all-time highs with a steep correction of 40 to 54% and long sideways periods that follows. The price action that comes next can change the course of history for Bitcoin. I love it. And as you can see where we are, we are literally exploding guys. I don't think you have any idea. I'm a trader. Traders follow price action. We ignore news where possible, although ETF news has been one of the things you cannot ignore because, of course, that is something that is going to make the markets pump. And why would you not want to take advantage of that? And if you guys want to do that, you can use my Bybit link down below. You can get up to $30,000 deposit um, bonus. And I need to change this, my Bitflex, but you can actually get up to $88,888 right there for yourself. Don't miss that because that's a combined uh, trading value of $128,888. Now, According to Nate Racy, nobody knows anything in Bitcoin, guys, because the spot Bitcoin ETFs are um, a failure. Okay, debut of spot Bitcoin ETFs. Boom. Whoa. And that all happened from January to February. That's two months of Bitcoin spot ETF flows. We've literally just started at the starting line we haven't even got anywhere near anywhere else you know we can't even see the finish line here guys and that's what i'm saying to you you need to be very cautious about where we are although we have pumped like crazy we pumped like crazy what is being said is we can sit for like two three four weeks even before making the next move up why not? Why would it not consolidate? It just makes sense. And also, according to Nate Racy, net 119k, 604 Bitcoin was absorbed by global BTC investment vehicles in February. In February, okay, a new monthly high. And in fact, guys, I actually just want to give you just a calculation of what that actually looks like, guys. So um, let's go here very quickly. And I want to show you so that you guys can visualize this for yourself okay currently we have there you go so we're gonna we're gonna do this exactly so currently we said that there's 21 million bitcoin right okay 21 million bitcoin is the maximum supply in circulation are about 19.642 million okay 19.6425 that's how many Bitcoin are currently in circulation. However, Bitcoin on exchanges, because the rest of the Bitcoin is literally sitting in people's cold wallets, okay? Um, it, yeah, and in cold storage, okay? We, we presume that there is plus minus about 1.4 million Bitcoin left on the markets and the rest is locked up or lost, okay? So there is plus minus about 1.4 billion left in the market and the miners are only mining 900 per day. So 900 per day, that would leave plus minus 1,555 days for them to mine the rest of that Bitcoin. 
However, of course, after this halving, that reduces down to, and this is why Bitcoin is very special, guys. That reduces to 400, uh, 450. So divided by 450, that now will end up being about 3,100 days. However, okay, we have a problem because if there are 1.4 million Bitcoin left on exchanges to purchase, and according to this number, 119,000, okay, so divide that, 119,604 Bitcoin that was purchased just in February alone, okay, that'll give us 11.7 months, one year, just shy of one year, and that's excluding anybody new that comes in, excluding retailers, excluding a number of other institutions, banks, etc. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you guys? Okay, this tells me we have 11.7 months left of runway on absorbing that entire future Bitcoin that is on currently sitting on the exchanges. Do you see what I'm saying? So Bitcoin miners can only produce 450 Bitcoin per day, uh, sorry, 900 Bitcoin per day. And after the halving, it changes. So 900 times 30 days, that's 27,000 Bitcoin a month. Okay. You see what I'm saying? These guys are absorbing like five times the amount monthly at the moment than is available. And if you look at the net inflow of 20, December 2020, um, it was 88,436 in February. 2024, we've now had the biggest inflow, which was 119,604. Guys, we have the spot ETFs launched. This is not going to stop. I don't, I can't explain this to you even more than that. If everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon for Bitcoin, and there is only so much Bitcoin left, and we are past the easy buying opportunities, we have seen newest and latest very accurate indicators tell us that we are in for the craziest bull cycle. The spot ETF is a success. It is the biggest success of all ETFs in the history of ETFs with the biggest inflows in all history of ETFs. Banks are wanting it. Thailand is also removing crypto tax in bid to be digital asset hub. Guys, that is mad. They're literally going to run their entire city on digital assets. What does this mean, guys? Even further than that, you can see that the Bitcoin interests, okay, um, that's, that's, that's wrong there. Um, as you said, you come at the king, you best not miss. I love it. And Vanguard will never list Bitcoin as long as ETFs promise I am the CCO, CEO. Well, now we know why he's fired, guys. So, if you go and look at the Google Trends and you find the latest and most accurate trends that we are currently seeing, guys, we are seeing some great indications of Bitcoin. And this is the Bitcoin search term worldwide uh, from 2004 to the present. OK, the biggest time that we had um, the search terms was uh, October, November, December, basically 2017. I think we will have the same thing happened to us, hit the 100 level, maybe even beyond the 100 level, I don't even know how that's possible, okay, where everybody in the world is searching the term Bitcoin, okay, that will happen by December, the latest this year as well, which means that at, look at where we are, we are in kind of a, if I had to pull a line across there, we're waiting to break out of resistance, resistance, of a down sloping triangle, which essentially the target is right at the top, right? So why would we not want to be investing in Bitcoin when we are literally about to see that? Nigeria has 100% of its people looking at Bitcoin. El Salvador has 92%. Uh, Austria has 50%. Ghana has 46%. Netherlands, 46%. Um, Switzerland, 46%. South Africa, 45% of my nation here is looking for Bitcoin. Slovenia, 44, 40. Guys, you can see what I'm talking about with you guys. 
UAE is massive on cryptocurrency, but they only have 28% of people looking at it. You have no idea what is about to come into play. Imagine the money and the liquidity that could come in from into the ETFs from the sheiks, okay, of the UAE. You have no idea, guys. We have not even begun this journey. And that's why April 24, Bitcoin halving sparks worldwide curiosity. Um, according to the data from Benin to Switzerland, the world turns its eyes to the Bitcoin halving. The interest is star, um, even though the interest is pulling down, it's pulled up since October to January. It's pulled down in February, okay? But yet we've had the biggest monthly candle, the biggest gains. Guys, this would be the craziest time to sell your crypto. It's just all I'm saying. It would be the craziest time. But I don't disregard pullbacks that can end up being 30% plus. Who knows? Now, let's go and have a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart because the Bitcoin dominance chart we had. Let's make sure I have all my charts ready for you guys. And these two as well. Guys, if you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you have been enjoying this content. I can see that you love this and really do appreciate you guys very, very much. So, okay, we'll have a look at the total. The total cryptocurrency market cap, like I said, look, follow my arrows. We could be pushing up and then we could have some sort of retracement. Do I think we're going to get a retracement right now? No, guys, even though we're coming into resistance, I actually think that our truest and next level is very likely going to be this level here. And I'm going to, sorry, this level here. There. Yeah, that would be the level. Okay. That would be our next real realistic level that I would say that we would be really looking to get to. At that point, yeah, there's going to be tons of resistance here, guys. You can see that. At that point, I probably see this pullback happening and then making its way up. Now, I do dig this. I think this is amazing. Um, please can my charts load for me. All right, so now we'll go on to the Bitcoin, like I said. So on the Bitcoin, we had the biggest monthly candle in the history of Bitcoin ever. Just by the way, guys, I mean, look at this monthly candle. This monthly candle literally did... This monthly candle alone did 52%. Now, 52%, okay, literally, that was the biggest sell candle in the history of Bitcoin. Um, and that candle was... 49%. So literally, this is the biggest candle in the history of Bitcoin, guys. And that's why I say to you, it's buy, there's volume coming in, everything is telling us to go to the upside. So why would you be selling your crypto right now? Yes, it can wick down, maybe even the wick down here to this, this 57,000 level, that would be a reasonable wick to have of some sort. Like, why not do that? It could float sideways here, and then pull up but guys, we have literally changed the cycle of the history of Bitcoin forever, okay, with this. Now, ETH is doing the same thing, guys. ETH is pumping. ETH has now reached uh, one of my resistance levels. I think it could still continue up and break through up to this 4,000 level before a pullback um, and then a continuation in the pump. Now, guys, I don't know about you, but my... Um, my, I mean, Bitcoin has literally been going up. It could sit sideways while these catch up a little bit. It could pull down a little bit. Who knows? But if you use my my um, Bitflex here, uh, link down below, get yourself $88,000 deposit bonus. I'm starting small with you guys. You guys can see we start small. I mean, I only put $3.8 into this trade. I'm now 390% in profit. I've now got $19 on this trade. I'm just showing you very simple examples of the crazy trades. I use my Bybit account to be a little bit of more of a, um, a degen. So yeah, for me now, what would I do? I mean, we eventually going to have to pull back and retest the 200 even. So where would I have my stop loss? You know, I would have my stop loss here at the 57 level at this point. So let's add my stop loss so that you guys can see 0.57. That I don't just play, I'm being cautious, okay? Because of course, you want to take some sort of profits, okay? And I would if it hit my stop loss, 
because my entry was at 54. So let's go and check out some of my Bybit trades and um, yeah. sure you guys subscribe and like to the channel. Um, I have so many cool videos coming for you guys. I have my live session once again for you on Monday. So do not miss out on that. I'm going to be bringing some crazy, crazy alpha for you. Last week, I did Bitcoin bull flag breaking out. I'm going to show you something that we might potentially be seeing that's quite similar to that, which could tell us that we could essentially be seeing some crazy stuff happen. So yeah, guys, don't miss out on the opportunity to be here, part of the journey. So like, just like Bitcoin HODL said, 61,000. 490 it's unlikely we're going to go much below that um if we do that will be very interesting and you know guys check this out we're literally building another flag pattern uh even though for me this is a bit more of a cautious bull flag pattern because we have pumped so much you can see that essentially this is also this is also starting to develop a M pattern, okay, in that flag. So I would be very cautious of that because if we did break that, I would say that we would test at 57k level, like I just said to you, um, before a pullback um, back up to give it that momentum. Now, guys, if we are to break, if we are to break this trend with this level the next target for bitcoin out of the break of this bull flag is all the way up at seventy six thousand dollars that gives us a new all-time high by five thousand five hundred ninety two dollars just about what do you guys think about that let me know down in the comments below now let's go and actually look at my trades you can see where my stop loss is i'm holding it nice and lean in here. I, I don't want to get out of my my trade my Bitcoin trade. Okay. I just want to keep my I want to make sure that I'm keeping my profits stable. So let's go and have a look at my trades. My Bitcoin trade is now 482% in profit. Okay. My Cardano trade is now 297% in profit. My AVAX trade is now 222% in profit. My Dogecoin trade is 1,527% in profit. And I actually like to go and show you where I bought. I bought in a very similar position, guys, to that because I could see that we were getting ready to make a crazy pump. So let us go and have a look at that. Well, actually, I'll share it because I, I might be taking some profits soon, guys. You know, I might have to take some profits soon. It would be a very good idea even to just take a hundred dollars off of the table um and in fact yeah let's let's go shall we do that guys we're gonna take a hundred dollars off of the table um okay we'll leave it for now but here you can see my link is 157 percent my shiba inu from that 75 percent pump is up 17.68 percent my supers up 400 percent my thetas up 103 percent and my tier is down 15 percent so guys you can see all of them have stop losses i've put all my stop losses in place so that i can make sure that i take profit and i don't lose money i'm just free riding on the trade now making massive massive gains guys and in total i've actually increased my account here from um thousand dollars to two thousand six hundred dollars now so very very sharp okay that's this account hope you enjoyed it you can see why i'm trading the way i do guys so let's go get yourself financially free use my links down below learn how to trade follow my channel and definitely come and check my live sessions out on mondays because i'm going to be giving you guys crazy alpha i love you all hope you enjoyed this video much appreciations and beautiful blessings to you all we will see you on the next one happy bitcoining